Hi, I'm Pete DeFazio, I'm with FBodyWarehouse.com and today what we're going to do is show you how to replace the center caps on the snowflake rims. The snowflake rim was introduced in 1977 and it ran all the way up until 1981. The biggest problem with your factory center caps is after about 30 years they get old, they get worn, and when you go into a parking lot, this is what happens more often than not. That just isn't acceptable. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these factory units off, and as you can see they're real dull, and we're going to replace them with some brand new units. Removing your factory caps is easy. They just literally pop right off. And that's one of the reasons when you're flying down the road you'll notice they fall off and drop away. So go ahead and pull them all off. And as you can see, it's about as easy as it can get. This one here actually had some broken tabs too. What we're going to be replacing these with is a set of the brand new GM authorized reproduction. You've got three styles. There's this style with an imposter bird, which is the lowest quality. The second style is this exact same unit with the GM authorized bird. It's a GM authorized restoration card. but it won't have a metal inner liner. This third unit, and that's what we're going to install on the car, is the highest quality unit that we can provide. And what this is, it's a GM authorized reproduction with the correct bird, and then also if you look into this hole here, you're going to see there's a metal inner liner. And what this does is it puts back pressure on the factory clips and it holds the unit really secure onto the rim. These are great especially if you've had your wheels remachined because they're going to fit a lot tighter than factory and they're going to make it so that when your car's going down the road they're not going to pop off and run away on you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install this onto the car and you'd say okay we're installing a center cap why do you need a video for that? Because on the back side you have these secondary metal retainer clips what we want to do is we want to show you how to pop those on because they just don't pop right on. When you set it on, what you're going to try to do is tilt it down a little and feed in the first couple ones and then on the metal tabs you're going to depress those with your finger and then it will pop right on. Now this one here has a little play in it but because it has that secondary tower clamp on it it's not going anywhere. There's no pulling this off. So, it's kind of neat little way to ensure that your center cap stays on. Those secondary inner liners are extremely important in ensuring that when you hit a pothole or someone walks by in a parking lot, they're not just going to walk away with your center cap. Yeah. Once again, we're going to lay it in on the back wheel. You go in from the bottom and you're going to push in on the side those metal retainer clips and then push in on the top and just as tight as can be on there. That's not going anywhere. Our last ones here is for the front rim. We're going to go down, side push in, and this one is really tight. And that's what you want. That way it's on, it's on tight, and it's not going to pop off. You can find a full line of center caps at fbodywarehouse.com and we hope this quick little video helps you to work on your car a little better at home. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's fbodywarehouse1 and uh, we appreciate it.